what's up guys it is your girl Melly exo welcome back to the channel just wanted to come on here yes you read the title want you to hear the story just want you guys to be safe um just be safe guys don't really have anything to say except for this is a sad situation um there's been a lot of scary stories that i've heard with the whole vaccine please stay safe guys stay safe guys Focus. And I'm Bob Mueller. New tonight, a Nashville woman is speaking out tonight from her hospital bed, unable to walk. Less than 24 hours after receiving her second dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, she was unable to move from the neck down. As News 2's Alex Dennis shows us, she is encouraging others to advocate for their health. It's just like the worst nightmare <laughs> I can ever imagine. Brandy Parker McFadden is confined to her hospital bed at Vanderbilt. Can you walk right now? No, I can't walk. Less than 24 hours after receiving her second Pfizer COVID shot, she explains she lost her ability to move from her shoulders down. I thought maybe if anything, I'd probably get like flu-like symptoms because I'd already had COVID, but I never in a million, million years thought I would never be able to get up and go to the bathroom or get up and walk to the other side of the room or stand up and hug my kids. The usually active mother of three is speaking out, not with the intent of causing fear. I'm not saying don't get your vaccine. I'm just saying that COVID is really real. And still really new, she continues, including the vaccine, which is why she feels any possible adverse side effect should be investigated, even if it is extremely rare. There's been I don't know how many people have been vaccinated and been fine, right? But we have to tell. Thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to just share that. It honestly really touched me. And you guys just be careful if you guys get vaccinated. Do your research and just be very careful, guys.